It was a 24 hour a day job because I had to be there for him all the time. He couldn't be by himself. He needed somebody to fix his meals and help him get ready and make sure he was safe. And he needed me. I was completely lost about what I was supposed to do. I knew he needed more than I could give him by myself. My mother passed away July 1st, 2009. Prior to her death, he had also begun having uh, difficulties and his health was declining significantly along with hers. And she passed away rather suddenly. Growing up, I could tell that it was difficult. You start seeing some of the difficulties in just the toll that life takes on a mother and a father who's trying to care for someone and care for them every day. He was always uh, with my mom and dad. They had had him at their side since he was born. When I learned about Rainbow Omega, I was amazed that something like this even existed. And I remember calling and asking where they were, and they said, we're in East of Boga. And I said, East of where? Stinson called and said, we have an opening if, if you want, still want Eugene to come up. And so he couldn't hardly wait. And we were excited too. When Chris moved out of the house and moved into Rainbow Omega, there was a sense of sadness. Um, you know, I imagine it was very much like when I moved away and went to college. You can see Chris today and see a totally different Chris that we as a family didn't know before. Uh, his personality it shows more. Um, the fact that he's able to have his own friends and his own uh, way of living, so to speak, uh, comes out and, uh, you know, you recognize him as an individual as opposed to Stinson and Diane's son. Kids going to stay up. Well, 21 years ago when Rainbow Omega started, um, it was an answer to a prayer. We knew that we weren't going to be around forever. And you begin to think about, okay, 30, 40 years from now, who's going to be giving Chris all this care that we give him? We had nothing to begin with but, a, but an idea, and we had a son that was our inspiration. We traveled around and looked at some places in existence and pulled some of the things that they were doing that we liked and left what we didn't like. We just ate lunch. It was delicious and everything. We have so many calls every day of people wanting to get their loved one in here. Families don't want their loved one out in the community somewhere where they can be abused or mistreated, taken advantage of and that type of thing. They're wanting them in a safe and secure environment. What our residents experience is a family type atmosphere. They love one another, they care about each other, our residents want to be part of our lives as much as we want to be part of their lives. We want to sort of help them develop their highest potentials and care and concern about them and their families, but in the same respect, they, they do the same thing with us. I, I care about the people here a great deal. They have changed my life dramatically. Um, it's hard to even put that in words. It's small things that you don't, you don't really um, take into consideration sometimes and the appreciation they express. I think most of them live day to day, they just take one day at a time. They get so much fulfillment out of being able to accomplish things. They take a lot of pride in that. Um, their job here at Vocational, there's a few of them that would love to come seven days a week and not take weekends and holidays off. They want to always come. We have one that doesn't like to break for lunch. If he's in the middle of doing something, he does not want to stop for anything until he finishes that job. So they, they take a lot of pride in that and enjoy working. We arranged a visit for Alan to come for a couple days and when we picked him up to come back to Andalusia, he didn't want to leave. He loved it.
and he's been here now 13 years. The first time he came home to visit, it was so funny because he talked about Rainbow Omega constantly. And he talked about it and talked about it and talked about it. And I said, Alan, I said, enjoy your time home. And then I realized how amazing it was that he loved it so much he wanted to go back. And he still loves to come home and visit me, but he can't wait to come back here. We knew that Eugene wanted to do more things. He wanted as normal a life as he could possibly have, which meant uh, more freedom, you know, more feeling like he was doing his own thing. And here, it's, that's exactly what he has. He is able to go up and down the hall and take himself to his room when he wants to, turn his TV on and watch it or go up and visit with the other residents. And he just, he just has his own life that he does what he wants to. And we always wanted that for him. People are amazed when they come to our campus and they take a tour and they see everything that's been accomplished to this point. They compliment the grounds and the the employees and, and uh, the residents and uh, the things that they're uh, involved with and the group homes and it just, the list goes on and on about the things that they're, they're in love with about Rainbow Omega and, and I, I just say that that's, uh, you know, a true testimony to what Stenson and Diane started and uh, it's a testimony to the staff that we have here believing in the same vision and the same dream. All the staff that work here, I don't think you'll find one person that says that they're not touched every day coming to, to work here. All of us have been touched and moved by the individuals that are living here. And, and I know I have. When one of them tells me that I'm like an older sister to them or you know thanks me for something, that was just the simplest thing that you did but they just show so much appreciation. It makes you feel like um, your life has some worth, you know, um, like what you're doing, that it's a good thing. Rainbow Omega has an exceptional staff. Um, they don't get enough credit a lot of times for the success of Rainbow Omega. I tell people that come through here, this is not just your normal nine to five job and it's not gonna be for everybody. But for those that do fall in love with it, I find it to be one of the most rewarding jobs you could ever have. If, if I had an opportunity to talk to a family, I would want to share with them not only how wonderful this has been for Alan, and, but how grateful I am that I'm here to see him doing so well, that you know, I hate that Mama can't see him doing so well, but what a blessing it is to be able to see him thriving in this amazing environment and encourage families to try to think about planning now and thinking about what if something happens to you? Who's going to take care of your child? Who's going to take care of your loved one? If a family has a person with disability, I would strongly encourage them to Come and check out Rainbow Omega. It's a life that um, people with disabilities long for. You know, everybody is, is faced with um, hardships and obstacles. Some people deal with that through writing poetry, music, artwork. Others of us, we deal with it through visualizing or listening to that music and artwork and being touched by it, knowing that we're not alone. Still other people, such as Diane and Stinson, they touch people's lives by trying to do something about it, trying to resolve whatever the situation is or come up with something for people. And I think that that's what they've done here with Rainbow Omega. Um, they saw that there was a need. They knew that other families were, were needing something for their children, were hurting because they didn't know what would happen when they couldn't take care of the child anymore. And they've touched a lot of lives through that. Their um, residents who their families have passed away and yet they still feel their love and they still feel loved by people here. They still smile every day and live a good life 
because of what Diane and Stinson have done here. I'm told that in America, there are 30 million people that are disabled. Of that 30 million, there's 8 million people that are disabled that need hands-on assistance. And we can't serve them all, but we're serving what we can. When you walk through this door right here, you walk through the door and there's not a person that doesn't say, hi, how you doing? I know wholeheartedly that without a shadow of a doubt, that if somebody that needs to look for a place with a loved one that has a disability, you know, hey, look no farther than Rainbow Omega.